Hi, I'm Tim Helm, President and CEO of the Gateway Region YMCA. I'd like to welcome you to the 37th annual Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial Breakfast. Thank you so much for celebrating with us today. We had hoped to be back in person this year, but with COVID continuing to impact our community, we knew we needed to keep this event virtual for everyone's safety. Even though we're not in person, the purpose of this event and our efforts to honor and celebrate the life, teachings, and legacy of Dr. King are no less meaningful. This holiday is such a great reminder about how Dr. King's life's work is part of our mission at the Y every day. To bring people in the community together, to nurture individual potential, especially of youth, and to welcome all people. His words and actions continue to be an inspiration to us all every day. I'd like to thank our award recipients, who I'm sure you're looking forward to hearing from. Thank you for joining us today. We hope to see you in person for next year's breakfast. Please enjoy the program. Welcome to the 37th annual MLK Junior event, hosted by the Gateway Region YMCA. We are so grateful that you chose to celebrate this occasion with us, and we also feel that this event is exceptionally special to the Gateway Region YMCA, and also the St. Louis community. In honor of the great work of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and reflection of his service to our world, we would like to recognize three prestigious awardees the Martin Luther King Jr. Tribute Award, the Human Dignity Award, and also the Strong Community Award. Before we celebrate these great works, let's welcome Mr. Vernell Warlick. Vernell serves as the Minister of Music at the Life Center in the National Church of God in Christ here in St. Louis, Missouri. Vernell also is the Youth Minister and Vice President of the Men's Department under the leadership of Bishop Elijah Hankerson III. Vernell is the proud husband of Mrs. Janetta Warlick. Vernell is actually in preparation to releasing his first album this year. Let's please enjoy these soulful tunes as he sings the Black National Anthem, Lift Every Voice. Out from 
not gloomy. Past till now we stand at last, where the white gleam of our bright star is cast. God of our weary years, God of our silent tears, Thou who has brought us thus far on the way, Thou who has by Thy might led us into the light, keep us forever in the path we pray. Oh. places our God when we met thee. Let our drunk with the wine of the world, we forget thee. Shadow beneath thy hand. Ooh, oh. May we forever Thank you, Vernell, for that wonderful, uplifting song. Now, let's please welcome Pastor Charles Quarles, who will bring us the invocation. Let us bow our heads in a word of prayer. Eternal God, we thank you, Lord, for your goodness and for your mercy. We thank you, O oh God, for your love and your outstretched hand. We just ask that you would bless us on today, and we're thankful for a new day that you made. We're thankful, oh God, that we are here. Oh God, even in the midst of a uh, pandemic, Lord, you have preserved us and we are thankful. Dear God, we ask that you would bless this celebration. Oh God, as we celebrate the Dr. Martin Luther King, bless, oh God, oh God, this celebration that it might be impactful, that people might be blessed by it, that they might be inspired by it. And dear God, I ask that you would help us, help us, Lord, to be what we need to be, oh God, to inspire somebody, to change this world. And God, we thank you. We praise you for another chance. We thank you, dear God. We're asking that you would bless us, oh God, as we go through the furtherance of this program. We ask that you would bless every participant in the name of Jesus. And God, we just thank you today. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory. In Jesus' name, we pray. Thank God. Let every heart say amen. Thank you again, Pastor, for that moving invocation. Now we will have the presentation of the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Strong Community Award by Mr. Kamet Hatep. My name is Kemet Hetep, and I'm the Associate Executive Director of the East Belleville YMCA in Belleville, Illinois. It is my honor to present the 2022 recipient of the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Strong Community Award to Mr. David R. Noble. David R. Noble is the St. Louis, Missouri Market President and Director of Community Economic Development for Midland States Banks. At Midland States Bank, his role as market president, he provides oversight to the team's commercial loan portfolio, establishes and maintains ongoing relationships, and supports cross-functional relationships within Midland that provides customer relationship development, including business connections to consumers and wealth management product sets. In his role as Director of Community Economic Development, he is responsible for developing, implementing, and administrating all aspects of the bank's corporate and regional community economic development plan and CRA and fair lending strategies. He is an experienced, astute senior banking leader with a triumvirate combination of experiences in the application of Community Reinvestment Act, CRA, 
regulation and diverse, equitable, inclusive community economic development strategies. He has a unique, innate ability to, to facilitate cooperation from various interests, create opportunity, assets, and problem solving, and achieve objectives both within his employer's organization and the communities he serves. David permeated the banking industry as a trailblazer through cultivating what otherwise be considered a atypical and unrelated alliances. David attended St. Louis University and received a Bachelor of Arts in Organizational Studies and a minor in Real Estate Planning and Community Development and a Master's of Science in Urban Planning and Development. Mr. Noble brings over 10 years of community economic development experience in his role. Noble served on a multitude of committees focused on both community and economic development for local, regional, and statewide initiatives. He has added value and perspective to Midland States Bank's team through his involvement with organizations throughout the St. Louis community. In addition to this level of involvement in the community, David has personally received and been instrumental in Midland States Bank's receiving a wide range of awards throughout the St. Louis community. Ultimately, David's goal is to be a catalyst that will ignite communal change and be a social economic movement in the hopes of empowering individuals and families to improve their life through upward economic mobility. As you can see with David's accomplishment, thus far he has more than exceeded his goal. And now we can add being the 2022 recipient of the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Strong Community Award. Congratulations and welcome to the podium, Mr. David R. Noble. It's an honor to receive the 2022 Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Strong Communities Award. First and foremost, it's humbling and it's an honor and it means so much to me to receive this award from the Gateway Region YMCA and the Bear family. The Bear YMCA was one of the first boards I got an opportunity to serve on. But not only did I get an opportunity to serve, I got an opportunity to learn to learn from key community stakeholders, to learn from my elders, and to be groomed in shape and the foundation set for my career. And it was very instrumental in the trajectory that landed me here as market president for Midland States Bank and also director of community economic development. So over time, I've been able to build and understand that my personal mission and purpose is community building by investing in people and places. So the opportunity to engage the YMCA, growing up in the YMCA, setting the foundation for my service to the community at the YMCA has led me to this point and I'll forever be grateful for it. I dedicate this award to my mother that passed February 25th, 2020. I know she would be proud and happy that I received this award for not just work, but for my service to the community which is who I learned it from. Thank you. Thank you, David and Midland Bank, for all that you do to make our communities a better place and also stronger. And now presenting the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Tribute Award is Megan Touche, Association Marketing Director and Communications Director. Hello, my name is Megan Touche, Association Marketing and Communications Director at the Gateway Region YMCA. Today I have the honor of presenting the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Tribute Award to Ms. Lorraine Hall. Lorraine is Palliative Care Specialist for BJC Healthcare. Lorraine has been a hospice educator for nearly 15 years and before that worked with seniors as a social service coordinator for senior living. As a palliative care specialist, Lorraine meets with hospice patients and families explaining the hospice philosophy. The goal of hospice is to have a peaceful, pain-free transition. Her role in palliative care is to educate and empower patients and families to make that decision during such a critical time. Her mission has always been to educate and empower individuals and encourage them to make the best decision based on facts. Lorraine was educated in the public school system right here in St. Louis. She attended Harristow State, 
Webster University and graduated from Columbia College with a degree in human services. She has two wonderful children, Shanette and Matthew Hall. Shanette is a St. Louis County police officer and Matthew is a supervisor at the St. Louis Zoo. Matthew is also the proud father of her only grandchild, Jareem Hall. Lorraine has always served as she thought God made her to serve. Welcome and congratulations to Ms. Lorraine Hall. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. dedicated his life to the fight for equality and his legacy continues to serve us all. To be honored because others think of me serving as Dr. King did means so much to me. God has blessed me by providing me with so many great mentors, ones I walk behind with honor, ones such as the late Betty Thompson. Today, I say thank you, Lord, for making me who I am. And thank you, Bear family, for this great recognition. Thank you, Megan, and congratulations, Lorraine, again, on receiving the Tribute Award. You're truly amazing. Now, I'd like to welcome to the stage Associate Executive Director of the South City Family YMCA, Mr. Philip Haddon, to present this year's MLK Jr.'s Human Dignity Award. My name is Philip Hatton and I am the Associate Executive Director at the South City Family YMCA. In honor of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., today I have the pleasure and privilege of presenting the Human Dignity Award. This year's award goes to Dr. Frederick L. Eccles, who is the Commissioner of Health for the City of St. Louis. He previously served as the Acting Director of Health and was the first medical doctor to serve as health director since 2007. Prior to serving as the acting director, Commissioner Eccles served as the director of communicable disease, vector and veterinarian programs for the St. Louis County Department of Public Health, where he was responsible for overseeing daily operations, strategic planning, fiscal management of a multi-million dollar budget, and program development and implementation. Prior to starting his position with St. Louis County, Dr. Echo served as Chief of Communicable Diseases for the Illinois Department of Public Health and as a physician in the U.S. Navy, where he managed a staff of medical and ancillary personnel. Dr. Eccles holds a bachelor's degree in biology slash pre-med from Clark Atlanta University and a medical degree from the Boston University School of Medicine. He is a current member of the American Public Health Association, Council for State and Territorial Epidemiology, the American Sexual Health Association, and several other professional organizations and national work groups. Congratulations and thank you for your commitment to service throughout the St. Louis region. I'm Dr. Frederick Eccles, Health Commissioner for the City of St. Louis. Uh, before I begin, I wanna offer a moment of silence for those who have lost their life to systemic racism and SARS-CoV-2 infection. First, I want to thank the executive leadership for the Gateway Regional YMCA for this recognition. Tim Helm, Jared Beard, leadership staff, and the district operations team have done a phenomenal job creating and maintaining safe spaces for residents to engage in healthy living activities during the COVID-19 pandemic. A special mention goes to Mr. Rob West for the work he and his team are doing at the O'Fallon Park Recreational Complex and Bayer Recreation Center. It is truly an honor to receive this award from an organization that has worked since June 6 of 1844 to improve the lives of residents living in the surrounding communities where centers are planted. More importantly, the organization has embraced diversity, equity, and inclusion, and it works to ensure all individuals, regardless of race, ethnicity, 
gender, religion, and nationality have access to quality services. At this moment, I must honor the work of Anthony Bowen, a freed slave who established the first YMCA for African Americans in the Washington, D.C. area in 1853. I also take this time to honor the work of Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. for his dedication to addressing systemic racism and injustices that further disadvantage populations based on their race, ethnicity, gender, gender identity, sexual orientation, and religion. The city of St. Louis and the St. Louis region have been and continue to be plagued by health and racial injustice. Annually, monthly, and daily, health departments and organizations across the region issue reports that highlight inequities that exist among our populations. These inequities are not acceptable. Since the start of my tenure with the city of St. Louis, I have intentionally secured and placed resources in communities that have been ostracized, stripped of resources, and left to advocate and fend for themselves. My life work as a civil servant is to improve the health of communities wherever I am. Thus, I remain dedicated to empowering communities and intentionally working with organizations such as the YMCA in the public and private sectors in a manner that supports everyone, especially our most vulnerable populations, being able to achieve optimal health. I truly believe the city of St. Louis and St. Louis region are only as good as the most vulnerable populations among our borders. It will be negligent of me to not mention where we are in the pandemic. At this time, over 1,200 individuals are hospitalized due to SARS-CoV-2 infection. Roughly 70% of those who are hospitalized are unvaccinated. We need everyone who is eligible to get vaccinated for COVID-19 to receive a COVID-19 vaccine. For those who need more information on the authorized FDA vaccines, please contact your medical provider, your local health department, or another entity that can provide you with accurate information. Furthermore, we need everyone to protect themselves, properly wear a face covering, social distance, and practice good hand hygiene. For those who have respiratory symptoms, please get tested. There is no shame in knowing your status. However, that could be major consequences if you unknowingly spread the virus to a family member or friend. If you test positive for COVID-19 and have mild to moderate symptoms, we encourage you to get monoclonal antibody treatment, which can further reduce your risk of severe complications, hospitalization, and death. The City of St. Louis has worked closely with the Finia Healthcare to make this treatment available at no cost. Thanks to Dr. Kendra Holmes and the Finia Healthcare leadership for really spearheading this effort in the North City communities. To speak with a treatment representative at Affinia Healthcare, please call 314-449-3553. Again, please do all you can to protect yourself, your loved ones, and the community. Thank you to the Gateway Regional YMCA for this honor. It is indeed a pleasure and a privilege to work so closely with you over the course of the COVID-19 pandemic. Be safe, be well. The zip code you're born into can determine your future, your school, your job, your dreams, your problems. But at the Y, we create opportunities for everyone, no matter who you are or where you're from. For a better us, support your local Y today. Thank you, Philip, and congratulations, Dr. Eccles. Your work continues to keep us safe and make St. Louis a better place for us all. We are here today to honor and celebrate the life and teachings of minister, civil rights leader, Nobel Peace Prize recipient, and a visionary. Although gone for more than 50 years, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. lives in our hearts. Thanks to, thanks to part in programs like this, his life and legacy will never be forgotten. At the early age of 28, 
Dr. King led the first major nonviolent protest in this country, the Montgomery bus boycott. The boycott gave hope to millions for an end to segregation. In, the book, in his book, The Strength to Love, Dr. King wrote, the ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in the moment of comfort and convenience, but where he stands during challenges and controversy. Even when Dr. King found the road to nonviolence cumbersome and weary, he never lost hope. He would stand courageously even when homes were bombed, people were arrested, and when families were in danger. Through it all, Dr. King prayed to God for strength, to stand firm in times of challenges and controversy, and stand he did. He was committed to fighting for justice for all people. Today, we ask that you take this day to use it as a day of service. Go out and find a place to volunteer. Enjoy the rest of your day. Ah!